Hey guys, Mr. Tolly. I'm going to apologize for wind noise. i got a barricade set up here, but I don't know if it's going to do a lot. Um, out at the range, got the 41. Going to test some loads. I have identical loads in uh, powder coated, and uh, the other ones are the 45-45-10 uh, lube. I'm going to do a little accuracy shooting. See if one's more accurate than the other one, or what we got going on, how bad the letting is, that kind of thing. I cleaned it, so I'm starting from scratch. Um, let me reposition some stuff. I got my rest set up. Anytime I'm doing accuracy testing, I want to have a rest. Got my ears. And, uh, well, let's see what we got going on. When we reposition, get back on. Alrighty, guys, this is going to be five rounds of powder coated and I'm going to shoot at the upper right hand square on my cider target. reload with some of the uh, cast bullets in the 45-45-10 lube and see just how they shoot compared to the powder coating. Now the powder coating adds a little uh, dimension to the bullet so I'm suspecting that the powder coating is going to shoot better. Right now I'm looking, I'm at about 12 yards and I'm looking at a little, little over a one inch group. Okay, so I'm going to use the upper left this time. Alrighty, well, uh, we're going to take a look at the target here in just a, just a second here. I want to make sure my range is cold, so I'm emptying my gun. We'll be back in a second. We'll go down and look at the target. Alright, I'm trying to stand in the way of this thing so that the wind isn't affecting the sound too much. This here is the... Uh, powder coated and they grouped really nice that's all five rounds is right here so that is just about as sweet as could be if it wasn't for the you can see how everything's moving if it wasn't for the wind it might do a little bit better but we're close enough uh, these bullets with the load I'm using should be traveling about 1100 to 1200 feet per second so it shouldn't really affect a 210 grain bullet this here group two, three, four, five. So that spans about two and a half inches. And uh, that's the 45, 45, 10. 
so I'm, what I'm seeing is that my powder coated is better. This top target here, this group, was from a cold barrel, and that's 10 rounds of powder coated. And down here, this group is also, you know, these were my first 20 rounds to kind of warm things up a little bit, and those were from uh, We'll go over some other stuff on that Ruger Blackhawk in 41 Magnum. Hey guys, Mr. Tolly. Um, my 41 Magnum, the Ruger Blackhawk. The Blackhawk was originally introduced, I uh, can't remember the year, sorry, but uh, it was introduced in a 357 Magnum, I want to say in 53. I'm probably wrong, but mine happens to be in 41 Magnum. And uh, I need to clean it. So it is a single action. And there are some different things that you have to do to clean a single action. The Rugers are kind of nice. Nothing in there. Always double and triple check. Make sure you're not loaded. So you'll see there's right here is kind of like a screw. You want to push that in and pull your, uh, I can't remember the name of the part. You want to pull that out, this piece right here. Pull it out, open your loading gate, and you can take the cylinder out. Sometimes I think it's faster to reload these if you have a spare cylinder. <laughs> but really, that's all there is to it. So, um, I don't know how well you can see, I'm not real good at this kind of stuff, but cylinder, she's a little dirty, not a big deal. I'll just run a patch, uh, probably with some, uh, hops number nine on it and get that cleaned up. And... see if I can get this to show. Now I did, I tested some powder coated and some lead bullets in this. Try this better. So I don't know, you can probably tell, it's pretty filthy in there. I'm going to patch through it real quick. Just, make sure I got the right jag. Just a dry patch, just to knock the crap out right away. See how bad the lead is. Oh, maybe not that way. Ooh, but I could feel it. <laughs> you now, since I was shooting cast lead with the uh, 45 45 10 and some others with some other lubes that I was trying I know the I know it's leaded it was accuracy testing I wanted to get a feel of how the uh, powder coated bullets were gonna work but there you go <laughs> pretty nasty in there so it may take me a little bit to get it clean 
uh, and I'm probably going to start and shove some lead remover in there right away. So that's really, you know, um, I have Packmeyer presentation grips on this. When I bought it, it did not have the original grips with it. It had some other crappy grips on it. Uh, and I picked these up for like 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, very gently used. And I like them. They're pretty comfortable to shoot. I would rather have something else. I don't know what. I like the stock grips. I like the way they feel in the hand. They are a little uncomfortable to shoot when you're shooting full magnum loads. But let me get this cleaned up. And... Uh, We'll put her back together. It's really simple. Uh, single actions are some of the easiest guns to work on. This one has the um, transfer bar. So it's safe to carry with six rounds in it. And there you go. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Alrighty. All done giving it a clean. Uh, I don't know if this will show again, but there's a little teeny bit of lead left in there. And I don't know. I may take it down and work on it a little more. I'm going to take this back out and shoot it again pretty soon. So <laughs> as soon as I get some more bullets, cup powder coated for it because then I can sight it in and get everything right on the monies to uh, reassemble it. It's real simple. Take your cylinder. Remember this end with the star shape there, kind of? This end goes to the back. And you just need to slide the rod back in. And I like to, when I do it, just kind of rotate the cylinder just a little bit until it clicks and that screw here locks in. And then it won't come out until you push that in. There you go. All done. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's pretty simple. I really like the Blackhawks. Uh, and the Super Blackhawks are also pretty sweet too. They came along uh, shortly after the Blackhawk. Uh, like I said, the Blackhawk was originally intended in... Uh, 357 Magnum and I think that was the only caliber it came in at the time and uh, no it's available in 41 Magnum so the uh, Super Blackhawk is available in other calibers 44 Magnum I can't remember I can't remember everything I just know I have a Blackhawk and it's 41 Magnum and it's one of my favorite guns to shoot with full power magnum loads and lead bullets so there you go stay safe god bless catch you next time around